Uh, my name is Kate McMahon and I'm from Saratoga Springs, New York. My name is Andrew Birch and I'm from Talpo in New Zealand. My name is Liz Pathak, I'm from Toronto, Canada. My name is Jerome Renier and I'm from France. Hi, my name is Gina Bryce, I'm from Hertfordshire in the UK. My name is Junying Sun from Nanjing, China. Hi, my name is Sarah Kilby, I'm from North Yorkshire in England. Hi, I'm Ajay from Hyderabad, India. The Dali Flying Start course would give me the perfect opportunity. To get some kind of formal education in the bloodstock business, it's hard to find quality. Amazing to have an opportunity like that, to talk to somebody so influential in the horse industry. I'll never forget it, so I've got the course to thank for that. You can't win the lotto if you don't play. Face to face with the racing and bloodstock world's pivotal players and hands on with the horses, trainees with Dali Flying Start have a unique opportunity to learn from the best in order to become the best. Launched in 2003, Dali Flying Start is the definitive management training program for the global thoroughbred industry and the brainchild of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, whose investment in racing and breeding worldwide is unprecedented. Sheikh Mohammed invests only in excellence, and for him, Dali Flying Start is a vision thing with its eye on all our tomorrows, geared to producing industry leaders for the next generation. It takes committed young people of promise and with its unparalleled access to movers, shakers and renowned centres of excellence across the world, puts them through a rigorous quest for genuine knowledge reinforced by total grasp of practical skills. Cloda Kavanagh, based at Kildangan Stud in Ireland, is the programme manager. Darley Flying Start is a management training programme for the thoroughbred industry. The aim of the programme is to recruit potential leaders, to give them an excellent quality training over two years in five different countries, and to produce well-rounded individuals who are committed to playing a role in the thoroughbred industry in the long term. The sort of person that should apply for Flying Start is a person that has a great love of horses and a knowledge of the thoroughbred industry. There's someone who ideally would have worked hands-on with horses, with thoroughbreds, and also has a strong academic background. Because we're looking for potential leaders as well, we're looking for people with excellent communication skills, with ambition and commitment. Dali Flying Start is open to anyone of any age and from anywhere. It is a challenging programme. It doesn't hand you the future, you've got to go out and grasp it. It will place you at the centre of the racing world with a dynamic range of lectures, visits, hands-on experience and formal instruction reinforced by a demanding series of projects and assignments. Training takes place in five locations at Kildangan Stud in Ireland, Dalham Hall in Newmarket, at Dali USA, Dali Australia and in Dubai. The syllabus is all-encompassing Stud management, pedigree analysis, general horsemanship, nutrition and farriery are all covered and practical work is crucial, with about 50% of the time spent working alongside Dali staff with breeding and racing stock. On the management skills front, you will deal with finance, legal and insurance problems, human resources, marketing, communication and information technology, plus business planning and entrepreneurship modules through University College Dublin Business School. Trainees who complete the course and reach the required standard will be awarded the Dali Flying Start Diploma. So the syllabus that the, the trainees follow on Flying Start is broad, but it's all related to the thoroughbred industry. Some of it is about the horse and a lot more of it is about the business of the industry. And for that reason, we've linked to some of the best universities across the world. We use University College Dublin Veterinary School and the Business School. We use University of Sydney Business School, University of Kentucky Agriculture School and University of Arizona. So it's great to have the quality of training that those universities offer and also the certification that they offer.